Okay, so I'm not going to make this one too long because I have to be aware of the space. I've got other videos um, lined up to be uploaded. Um, President of Turkey, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, has um, once again caused big controversy, uh, this time by describing the Netherlands as the fascism capital. This really is astonishing. Um, it's more than insulting, it's inaccurate. Um, anyway, I'm going to read out the report from Euronews and then um, offer my opinions on this. Turkey has hit out again at the Netherlands, describing it as a capital of fascism, quotes, and accusing it of giving way to anti-Islam sentiment. President Erdogan, who is desperately hoping to win support among Turkish expats, pointed out that the barring of his ministers from holding political rallies in the Netherlands comes just ahead of elections there. If you sacrifice Turkish-Dutch relations to the elections held on Wednesday, you will pay the price, he said. I thought Nazism was dead. I thought Nazism was dead, but I was wrong. Nazism is still widespread in the West, he added. The West has shown its true face. Immigration of one is one of the hot topics of the election race. France, which allowed a Turkish political rally to take place on Sunday, called for calm on both sides in the dispute and called on Ankara to avoid what it calls excessive excesses and provocations. The Dutch PM said he will not apologise for the government's actions, saying his country will respond if the riot escalates and Turkey, ret Turkey retaliates further. Mark Rutte said this is a man who yesterday made us out to be fascists and a country of Nazis. I'm going to de-escalate, but not by offering apologies. Are you nuts, he told a morning talk show. He later added, we are in the wrong situation with Turkey at the moment. We asked the minister not to come because of the tensions we expected in Rotterdam and because we are not comfortable with such a visit. A visit from a Turkish minister to the Dutch people to talk about a Turkish referendum and still they come. Adding to the row, the Danish Prime Minister has proposed putting off a planned visit by the Turkish Prime Minister to his country in light of Ankara's dispute with the Netherlands. That's from your own news. Um, this is only coming days after a very similar dispute with Germany. You know, the irony of this is that the Netherlands suffered greatly from uh, German occupation in the Second World War. Uh, my father worked in Rotterdam for a while, and there's a museum there to the bombardment of Rotterdam. At least 800 civilians died from uh, German bombardment in the Second World War. Thousands of Dutch civilians died from starvation in the war years. So for this bastard, Erdogan, to insult the Netherlands as the fascism capital is utterly absurd. Not only is that an insult because the Netherlands suffered from fascism, but it's also incredibly hypocritical. Under Erdogan's leadership, Turkey has went down a seriously dark path. Freedom of expression continues to be trampled in Turkey. Um, that's not to say it's quite at the level of countries like Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, Iran. But Erdogan is an Islamist. He has definitely moved his country um, further down the pan-Islamist path. And I think he's basically uh, trying to blackmail the West. He knows that the thing is, Turkey is a geopolitically significant country. But I think we would be making a grave mistake, Western countries, I mean, to give in to this bully to give in to this thug. This is a man who has the same autocratic leanings as Putin and as every other uh, tyrant out there. I mean, his response to the coup d'etat last year was mass arrests, was absolute repression of all dissent. Um, as far as I'm concerned, he's a complete dictator. And when you actually put, look at this on the surface, what he is basically saying is allow us to hold political rallies in your country. And if you complain about it, you're the fascist? Seriously, what a piece of shit. You know, I respect Turkey, the country. I think Turkey is a great country with a long history. But this guy, Erdogan, I think he's a disaster for Turkey. I really do.
And I really, really think that the German government, the Danish government, the Dutch government, the French government needs to tell them to go to hell. If if this guy thinks that he can insult Western countries and say that we're going to hold, you know, stir up trouble in Western countries by holding political rallies in Rotterdam and Berlin and Paris, it's utterly absurd when you think about it. I mean, imagine if the situation was turned around and let's say you had Gert Wilders supporters holding a rally in Istanbul. That would be unthinkable. And the arrogance of this man to talk about anti-Islam sentiments. Erdogan is a fascist. Also, let's remember Turkey's role in World War II. It was hardly an allied country. You know, it was hardly on the right side of history when it came to positions on fascism. So this bastard Erdogan needs to shut his mouth because I just can't believe the arrogance of this man. He's even more arrogant than Pune. Um, and the thing is, I, I don't see this as an anti-Turkish video because I know there are thousands of Turks who feel the same way. They know that he is bringing their country down a dark path. You know, this isn't about Turkey. This is about Erdogan, the individual. Erdogan is an Islamist, he's a thug, and he's a hypocrite. And I honestly believe what he's doing here is basically blackmailing Western countries. Because there is a big Turkish diaspora, there's a big Turkish community in Germany, in the Netherlands. He's, he's using a form of blackmail, and it should be absolutely intolerable. And I really hope the British government takes a strong stance on this and we absolutely back our European allies. You know, we may be leaving the EU, but we have to be on the right side on issues like this. It's absolutely none of Erdogan's business what goes on in the Dutch election. I mean, just imagine if the Dutch government decided to try and hold rallies in Istanbul or Ankara or Izmir. The hypocrisy of this guy is unbelievable. That's what I think is utterly insufferable. And I think he should be made persona non grata. He needs to be isolated. He needs to be squeezed. This guy is a disaster for Turkey. He's a disaster for the region. And I really do think he's a problem. The arrogance is astonishing. And I really sympathize with the people of Turkey because he is bringing their country down a very dark path.